Okay, this is going to be part three of this painting. Very little has to be done. I just want to put a little bit more detail or some contrast into the flowers and maybe add a little something here and there. So it should only take me maybe 10 minutes tops. So um, that's the plan. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, now I think I'm going to go lighter. This is just a shade lighter, plus with a little bit more red in it, a little bit less ochre. This darker color here, what that actually is, is quin red and orange, uh, permanent orange and white. And this has a little bit of yellow ochre in it. And that was the uh, purple and quin red together with a tiny little bit of white. Put a little bit of white into that because I think this one is going to be kind of my focal area. To remember that this is an abstract it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to look like anything in particular I don't want it to be perfect almost too perfect put some lines into it Kind of liking that. This one's too perfect. Gotta do something with it. better. This is Payne's Gray. A little bit of definition. Now I'm going to put a little bit of line work into it.
fix that. what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of striping into it. some crossway some lines in the other direction instead of everything going up and down I have a few things coming this way but I don't know if I like that this one is too dark and too heavy this one off. Do something light. Just too dark. Too thick. Too thick. One nice thing about cold wax is you can fix things really quick. This one is standing out too much. It's 
better. You can come in. You don't have to stand out there in the hallway. I'm waiting for somebody. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, that's true. You can stand you, in. You can wait oil, in here. Smell, is this oil? It doesn't smell like oil. Uh, I'm working on oil right now. It is oil. It's I know oil. I'm not smelling it. You're well ventilated. <laughs> it's it's uh, oil and wax. Oh. And I don't use uh, turpentine, I use an odorless solvent. Ah, that's so why. That's guess. one of the secrets, yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, that's good. You probably don't breathe bad fumes either. No, I don't. Good. And the wax gives it a lot of texture? Yes, it does. So, so that eliminates the need to pile up the oil paint? Yep. Nice. Yep. I enjoy it very much. The wax is actually beeswax. Oh, nice. So it's good for you too. <laughs> you, you betcha. <laughs> Full of vitamin B. Oh man. Well, they're beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. I think this one is going to be just about finished. I'm just kind of futzing with it now. Mmm. You thin it way down and get the drip effects. I actually, drew those lines. You in. drew them in. And I wondered about with that. this. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's pretty. You got some real spring color. Our azalea in front of the house is exactly that shade. Oh, is it? Orange pink, yeah. That's nice. Put in the background. Thank you. I think I am finished, guys. Put some line work into it. Mess up some of the lines. This looked like, this right here is too straight. I have to do something about that. Yeah, that's better. I'm happier with that. I think I want to have like something green coming out here to break that up and then put some color on top of it. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay guys, I'm going to call it finished. And I love how you can, I don't know if you can see that, but you can still see where I dug into it at, at some point. And I, I left those in intentionally. I think one of these needs to come down the whole way. I'm not talking to myself, I'm really... Oh, not. don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> How are you this beautiful day? Good and you.
I'm going to call it done for now. what it looks like, and I think it's finished. At least it is for now, and uh, I'll look at it in a day or two, and if I need to change something, I will. But here's some close-ups. Here you can see uh, my circles that I uh, drew into at one time showing up. I really like that. And I kept it. I did not want to lose that. So that's what it looks like. If you haven't subscribed, I sure would appreciate it. And I appreciate you watching and taking this journey with me. Thanks.